Good Wednesday morning, everybody. Chris Allen with your weather podcast for this August 2nd. Well, a few of you did pick up a stray shower or two yesterday. They were few and far between. They kind of waited late in the day to get going, but they finally got going. I think today we're going to see a little better chance and better coverage of scattered showers and thunderstorms as uh, we get... uh, another disturbance or two trying to work into the area. We didn't pick up any measurable rainfall yesterday at the Bowling Green Airport for the first day of August, so we remain at zero so far, past 24 hours. Yesterday's high, 87. That happened around 1230 yesterday at the airport, three degrees shy of the average of 90, 67 was our low temperature, one degree shy of the average of 68. A year ago, we had a high of 90 and a low of 73 back in 2016. Today, we're going to put in a 40% chance of a shower or thunderstorm, otherwise partly cloudy to mostly cloudy, kind of like yesterday. And a high at 87, southwest wind at 8. For tonight, we'll keep in a chance of showers, just a small chance, about 20% of an isolated shower. Otherwise, it will be mainly cloudy with a low of 67. And then as we get into Thursday, a little less in the way of coverage of showers. There could be maybe a, we'll put in a 30% chance here and there. Otherwise, partly sunny, warm and humid 88, and then as we get into Friday, Thursday night into Friday, the best chance of rain all week long. 60% chance of showers and thunderstorms likely, some heavy rain as possible, and we could even see a few strong to severe storms somewhere in the area. As the cold front makes its way through, we'll see a high of 81 But then as the front passes, we see skies clearing Friday night, turning cooler with a low of 59. That'll feel nice. Kind of like last weekend when we had the storms on Friday and then everything cleared out for the weekend. Same thing. It's going to happen this weekend. Saturday looks wonderful. Sunshine, low humidity, 82. And a wind from the northeast. 84 on Sunday, mainly sunny, but then we see the next system move in late Sunday night with a chance of a shower to overnight after a high of 84. We'll go 84 again Monday with a 50% chance of showers and thunderstorms, and then another cold front passes through by early Tuesday next week, mostly sunny and 85. Now tomorrow... Thursday begins the world's longest yard sale along U.S. 127. The beginning of it, uh, not too bad. Friday is going to be the worst day out of the four-day sale along the route, U.S. 127. So if you're uh, putting up a booth out there, say, uh, Lake Cumberland area, Jamestown, Russell Springs, Albany, up to uh, Casey County, Liberty, those areas, if you're listening. Uh, Friday is going to be your worst day. Um, you know, there's there's still people that will come out and shop. You just have to make sure that you've got some tarps and things like that to cover up your, your stuff that you're trying to sell. And just make, uh, you know, a plan B for any heavy rain and thunderstorms, maybe some wind on Friday, but Saturday and Sunday, you're golden. It's uh, looking good. Even Thursday, a chance of a pop-up shower, but uh, Friday is going to be the worst day out of those four for uh, the yard sale. All right, that will do it for this edition of the podcast. I do have one thing to pass along to you. Uh, Those of you that enjoy the podcast, we're always uh, trying to take advantage of new technology And those of you, I've always said this, those of you that listen to the podcast, you get it. You understand it. I can say the word podcast to, you know, 
somebody walking John Q. Public down the street, and they're what, what, what's a podcast? They did, they don't, they don't understand it. But those of you that listen get it. You understand it, and he, we're taking the next step. Soon, it's not there now, but soon, you will be able to hear my weather on Amazon Alexa. Mm-hmm. How many of you have the Echo? You have, or maybe the Dot. I have the Dot at home. I use it mostly for an alarm clock, and to <laughs> I'm trying to get it now to play uh, some of my Amazon uh, movies and stuff. So I'm learning, you know, the skills they call them that you can tell Alexa what to do, and it'll do it for you. Well, pretty soon you'll be able to ask for the WBKO news headlines and weather and uh it will be us and it will be me telling you through alexa what's going on so that's coming in a few days we'll make the announcement but i'm letting my podcasters know heads up before anybody else because you guys get it you understand it and you probably own an amazon dot or an echo and you you know what alexa is so there you go Know the weather before it knows you. Have a great day. I'll see you live at 5.30 on AM Kentucky, 11 a.m. on midday, streaming live to the WBKO app at WBKO.com later this afternoon. If you can tune in, join me for my radio show at Classic Hits, Sam 100.7, between 3 and 7 p.m.